Tired of brushing your teeth manually like a peasant? Why not hop onto Google and search for information on the best electric toothbrush? Oh, look, you're given a list of discussions and forum posts where the products experts of Reddit and Core will impart their rich experience and wisdom in the world of dental hygiene for you. Wait, what? According to the latest research of Glenn Aslop from Detail.com, in a survey covering over 10,000 product review keyword researches, the new discussions and forum sub feature has appeared in over 77% of queries. 7,702 if you want to be exact. That's a lot particularly for a new sub feature. And more importantly, it shows how dominant Reddit has become. According to Glenn's research, in 77% of searches where that sub feature appears, Reddit appears for a whopping 97.5% of the result set. And of the 7,509 results where the Reddit domain appears, their posts are featured 14,263 times. So about 1.9 results out of a possible three. Wow, these Redditors are such a knowledgeable bunch. They've really mastered the art of writing for readers and being experts in the product they're writing about. Yeah, not so much. Again, according to Glenn's research, in 51% of the top ranking threads on Reddit, the first comment is spam, either in the form of affiliate links or outbound links to sites where you can find affiliate links. And this is a problem we're all too familiar with here at Authority Hacker. If you go to Reddit and check out people talking about our courses, the top rated comments are often just course resellers pirates. They just buy likes. And since the wave of UGC taking over the sub started in August 2023, the number of services that have sprung selling these comments and likes have exploded. But don't worry though, a Reddit spokesperson has rushed in with a statement to quell any concerns you might have. Reddit says that Glenn's extensive research is flawed and misleading. The 10,000 results that were selected and sampled were cherry-picked. That is some industrial strength cherry-picking. If he looked at 10,000 results, his hands must be really sore. Anyway, back to Reddit's hand-waving and gaslighting, I mean, statement. Apparently, Google is sending them more traffic for product reviews because their reviews are good and legitimate. Not only that, but according to Reddit's spokesperson statement, Reddit has rules in place to remove unwanted spam or comments, and they provide tools to moderators to help them deal with the spam. And on February 11th, on Twitter, John Mueller from Google himself seemed to echo these sentiments. Excellent. The most prominent reviews on Google subs are now being policed by... Hold on, let me check my notes. Subreddit modes and the outrage mobs on Reddit who aren't shy. Perfect. What could possibly go wrong with that cautious, polite, reliable group of trustworthy people helping you do quality control. The fact is, this research shows the whole way that Google has handled review content over the last six to nine months has fallen off a cliff in terms of quality and trustworthiness. The unspoken reality here is that when forums like Reddit and Quora gain such commanding position and prominence in the subs, then there has to be a loser. Someone's ranking have fallen dramatically to allow for such a significant increase by these two sites. And the big loser here has largely been the small and mid-sized sites that create review content and make money from affiliate commissions. Let's put our cards on the table here. A lot of affiliate content has historically been garbage. You have people scraping Amazon pages and writing reviews based on nothing. They've never seen the product, used it, or probably even have any interest in it. This is fair criticism, and Google over the year has done a lot of work to weed out these types of bad actors' affiliates out and reduce their prevalence in the search results. But... In the wake of this latest UGC tsunami, thousands of legitimate review sites with valuable content have been reduced to trickles of traffic. And that's not even discussing the ones that have been battered by helpful content updates. Sites like electricscooterinsider.com obviously spend a lot of time and money producing high quality scooter reviews, judging by their pages, photos, and YouTube videos. They used to rank well for many review keywords, including the keyword fast electric scooter where they used to be number one with this really good page. Now, they're being outranked by two Reddit threads. And of course, the top answer by a dodgy account with no experience has an affiliate link. And this account is full of these kind of answers on high ranking threads. But let's take a step back and think about this more rationally. What has Google said over the years about what are good quality indicators for these types of content? Surely we can talk about the idea of EEAT, experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trust. That must be a guiding principle, right? When a top rated post on a product review is written by you, Facial Gravy 44 not a real user by the way, who also posts about AMC stocks, dating advice, sneakers, and how to try to avoid doing work by suing your employers, 
maybe this person doesn't have the level of authority that Google is bestowing upon them. Meanwhile, the person who has reviewed 500 electric toothbrushes has done factory tours in person and does interviews with dental hygienists to talk about the pros and cons of electric toothbrushes. They are apparently not quite as trustworthy as our friend Facial Gravy 44. It goes to show that in reality, EEAT signals are nonsense. <gasps> If you can be a dentist and get outranked for a list of best electric toothbrushes on Google by someone whose only source of authority and expertise is creating a Reddit account, then the whole concept of EEAT becomes meaningless. I guess Google's argument is that Reddit is moderated while your site isn't. But why does having a Reddit account suddenly make you an authority on just about anything? It's not like you're writing for Forbes or something, right? <laughs> At the end of the day, Glenn's takeaway from his research lines up with what a lot of respected people in the SEO community are saying. Google search results are a mess right now. With the push to highlight low quality forum content, not to mention the HCU apocalypse, searching on Google has reached new lows we haven't seen since 2011 when spam was everywhere. Something has to give, but the question is, what? What do you think of the current wave of UGC content that's dominating the subs? And what do you think Google is going to do next to remedy the situation, if anything? Will AI come to the rescue? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single H news update and smash the like button to tell YouTube how awesome we are.